If you can hear the AC in the background, I'm really sorry. Welcome to the bathroom. It's been a while since we've been in here together. I know that you can see that ring light, that ring light right there, so you know what that means. It's time to be a beauty guru. Even though summer's over, I feel like this whole summer was all about hot girl summer one, two, euphoria. Euphoria has just been everywhere. Everyone's been recreating makeup looks, outfit looks, just overall very inspired by the show. It's so raw, so real, amazing. I watched the show like many other people. Shout out to Erica for giving me your HBO login so I could watch all of the episodes. The first episode was available on YouTube, which is how I discovered it. And I watched it and I was hooked. I fell in love with it like many other people did. And I think the reason so many people love it is just because of how real it is. I think you can find little bits and pieces of yourself in every single character and that's why it just all meshes and is so... So besides the show being amazing, watching it has also given me just a brand new girl crush, Alexa Demi. Beautiful, stunning, amazing, gorgeous baddie. Just like everything I want to be. And the character that she plays, Maddie, is definitely someone I can relate to. All the things that she goes through with her man, a whole lot, but relatable. So yeah, tonight we're gonna be beauty gurus together. We're gonna recreate two of Maddie's looks. Alexa, if you ever see this, cause I'm sure you're just, you know, watching my videos, love you so much. Love that. So the first look I'm doing is simple, sweet, cherry baby look. It's pretty simple on the eyes, just like a cat eye. So I'm nervous for that because I'm not a pro at that, but we're gonna try anyways. And then just like a cute little cherry and a red lip, which I also never do. Let's get started. Okay, so for this look, she has in hoops and she has her hair half up, half down, but it's not like one of those Ariana Grande ones. It's just more so pulled back. I got some hoops. Wow, this is not flattering. Oh, how does this happen? We're not here for the hair, we're here for the makeup. So I already have my face, concealer, bronzer, blush, highlight already on because I figured these looks are mainly going to be focused on the eyes and the eye details. According to the picture, she has black winged liner, like a tiny bit of shimmer on the lid, and that's it. I have that color, which I think is going to be perfect. Ew, the creases. I use concealer, I bake it, I do everything you're supposed to do and I still crease. So here's the thing. I am very, very bad and unskilled at doing winged liner. I think it has a lot to do with the shape of my eyelids. Anytime I do winged liner, my liner just ends up covering the entire eye. So I just stay away from it because it always turns into a disaster. I'm really gonna try and do my best. Oh gosh. Wow, this is dry. Are you kidding me? What? What would Alexa do? She would not let this minor setback get her down. Oh no. Hi! It just doesn't look correct on me. Or do you have any pointer? Just hope for the best, expect the worst. <laughs> My motto. <laughs> <laughs> I think cat eyes just aren't meant for me. Whatever. Honestly, this went a lot smoother than I thought it would, so that's a plus. Now I have to match it up to this. There is no turning back. Hopefully the lashes will just cover it all up. Kind of ironic that I never do any type of cat eye or eyeliner ever period. And I was watching Alexa's Vogue Get Ready With Me where she's just fabulous in her bathroom using all Dior makeup. And she was saying how cat eye is her signature, the wing, no matter what. I'm at that stage where I want to keep adding on to make it even, but I know that that just leads to trouble. Okay, no, I can't. I have to fix this eye. It's not even. There's the cat eye. What would you rate it? Yeah. 
It looks like she's also wearing black liner on her bottom lash line. Shocker, but I don't have a black pencil. Maybe Michaela does. I think my favorite look of Maddie's, oh my gosh. Either her prom look, that was so beautiful, or I liked her cute little purple daisy dress when she was walking with Nate. And then her cheer looks were always really cool. That's the one we're doing next. These are the lashes. Hopefully I can get them on without any problems. While those are getting ready, I'm gonna use this on my lower lash line. Well, gonna have to redo. Honestly, do we though? Yeah, let's try the other one instead. I bet so many people are gonna be characters from Euphoria for Halloween. Okay, let's hope that this little guy stays I need to learn how to do my makeup on while my mouth is closed. I s Why does this happen? Okay, I finally got them to stay put. Hopefully, this one's a little bit off, but I cannot for the life of me get it to sit where it needs to sit. Not ASMR. Good enough. I can either do lips or the cherry. I wanna do the cherry. So she has a little baby cherry right by the eyes right here. Courtesy of M, I will be using some lip clit liners, as she would say. How fun, I'm so excited for this, okay. Uh-oh, that one looks like a dumpling. <laughs> what did I do to that one? Oh my gosh. Okay, <laughs> this one is just, just has a thicky stem. It's not a big deal. Honestly, for the first time drawing a cherry on my face ever, could it be better? 1000%, but I'm not mad at it. And that's what really counts. Cherry girl, <laughs> stupid. Okay, it's not that bad from far away, right? Now it's time for a red lip. For tonight's lip color, we will be using none other than Mary Jo K. I think another reason why I just connected so much with Euphoria is because it just so happens that my husband is actually an executive producer. You may have heard of him. You might be familiar with, I don't know, like some of his music, but yeah. Drake is an executive producer of the show, which just could not be more fitting, I feel. You know that feeling when your soulmate is out there and you just have no way of like contacting them? That's how I feel with him, so. Hit me up, Drake, if you see this. Here I am. Oh, it smells so good. That's literally it, that's the look. What do we think? <laughs> Just a ball sack chilling on my face. Did I do it? Did I pull it off? Did I do Maddie slash Alexa justice? That's what really matters here. Okay, let's do the next look. Now that the look is over, it's time for me to wipe the lips off. I'm gonna take these off because we will be, we'll be reapplying those baddies later. Gotta take the dick off my face and I'll be right back. I really went ham with the makeup remover. Getting off the red lipstick was not an easy task, let me tell you. I know that this doesn't have anything to do with Euphoria, but I really have to talk about it. Let's talk about the new Lana album. Wow. The queen snapped all the way off. She did what she had to do. I really wanna see her live. That's all I have to say about that. If you have not listened to Norman Effing Rockwell, please go do so. That's my PSA. So this look is inspired from Maddie's cheer look. This look is just so beautiful. Like the blue wing with the rhinestones. I have my gemstones. I have my teal turquoise eyeshadow. Am I gonna nail this look? Debatable, but I have to try. Oh, I'm trying to think of like my favorite Maddie scene in the whole first season. I think I love, <laughs> only because I'm petty. I love when they're at the carnival and Nate's dad wins the chili contest and then she just appears and she's just like. Oh. The power that that exudes. 
I'm gonna try and shape out the wing in concealer. I'm excited. Another character that I really love and resonate with is Kat. I can't think of a character that I don't like. I mean, Nate. But then again, like his acting is so good that you're just like... Oh, it kind of burns. It's probably not good. I'm gonna be using these two shades. I'm just so excited for season two. Alexa Demi posted on Instagram a freaking editorial iconic photo of her in pretty much all Dior. She's wearing Dior shades, a Dior choker, and her makeup is just insane. And she has these straight across bangs and everything is just so good. Maybe when I get sponsored by Dior, I can do that picture justice. Her wing extends her brow, which is perfect. This is, this is what I'm looking for. Yes, it's messy, but this is what makeup's all about. It doesn't have to be perfect. I love that. So now I'm like trying to figure out how to clean that up. So I think I'm gonna go in with more concealer. I have two shorts stuck in my head right now, so it's not helping. Sharp line. My eyes are looking so pink. It's that time of night, everyone. So I'm gonna do the other eye now. Do you guys wanna see that? I feel like you don't. That's legitimately as good as we're gonna get. So, liner, lashes, I'll be right back. I did my absolute best to get the wings even. I'm shocked that I made it this far. So now it's time to put the gemstones. I think I'm gonna do these. Maddie has them all around the wing, outlining it, just making this beautiful, beautiful wing. There's the first one. As soon as I put that on, I got so excited. So this might take a little bit long, a little bit longer, but I'm gonna use tweezers and I'm just gonna, honestly. I'm a new woman. Uh, really quick, I'm going to do my lower lash line in that blue too. I don't know why I forgot that. Am I a little sleepy? Yeah, but is that gonna stop me from making my dreams come true right now? No. Literally after the longest amount of time to have ever existed, I finally got one eye done. I keep losing little ones because my eyes are getting sleepy and heavy, but we're not gonna let that stop us. It's so much friggin' fun. I love it. That took much longer than anticipated. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm almost done. I did it. I did it. I cannot believe I actually was able to get these on my eye. Maddie is wearing a nude lip just because the eye has a lot going on. So I'm just gonna line my lips. In the picture, Maddie's hair is in a ponytail. For the life of me, I can't get things to work and gems are just rapidly falling off my eyes. So I made my own little diamond berets to match hers. I know the hair is a bit different from the photo, but this is the best I could do considering the circumstances. Here's the final look. I hope that I did Maddie justice considering how she's a queen. I just want like 5% of that queenage. Do you like it? This experience taught me so much respect for the makeup artists on set of Euphoria. My lipstick looks weird and things are popping off. That's it, that's the look. Anyone from Euphoria, if you ever see this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Can we just talk about how these rhinestones make my heart feel? I wanna start wearing rhinestones every day or gemstones, whatever they're called. Those were my two Maddie-inspired looks. I'm ready to wipe this all off, get into some sweats, and pass out. Thank you so much for watching this. I had so much fun doing this. Would I make the makeup artists of Euphoria proud? <laughs> Love you so much. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Drake, if you ever see this, I want to be on season two.